Hindustan Aeronautics has expressed satisfaction with the 80% level of technology transfer it will receive for the F-414INS-6 engine from General Electric, and the first engine will roll out three years after the contract is signed. HALS Bangalore Division plans to commence production of 91 F-414 engines in the initial batches starting from the end of 2026. HAL aims to increase the level of indigenization for the engine to facilitate local production of spares and components, to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers and mitigate any delays in the supply chain. Officials also noted, that this F-414 deal will also make General Electric the frontrunner for the another mega deal for the co-development of a 120 kN engine to power the AMCA Mark II. Alpha Defense has reported, that after completing development trials, 10 Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missiles are currently under fabrication, which after quality testing will be used to conduct user trials on two Su-30 fighter jets. The indigenous universal launcher for Su-30 aircraft has also been developed, that will be capable to carry Astra Mark I Mark II and other missiles, which will increase the flight preparedness of the aircraft. A legislation to fast-track weapon sales to India has been introduced in the US Congress, and a group of lawmakers have said that strengthening the strategic partnership of the nations will safeguard their shared security interests. The legislation seeks to place India on equal footing with other partners and allies of the US, by streamlining and accelerating the review and sales process for foreign military sales and exports under the Arms Export Control Act. India had expressed its desire to purchase 40 Predator Sea Avenger drones in 2017, however, concerns from the US Congress regarding the export of stealth UCAF to foreign countries hindered the progress of the sale, while General Atomics was keen on exporting the drones. The recent deal for 31 MQ-9B drones from General Atomics has reignited the possibility of India operating stealth UCAF for enhancing deep strike capabilities, and Indian Air Force might reconsider the Avenger if offered the opportunity. Naval Group has announced that the DRDO chief visited headquarters of Naval Group in Paris, where he was briefed on development roadmap and future plans, and presented efforts in integrating indigenous technologies in Scorpion submarine, research activities and collaborations with India in underwater drones and weapons. A model of Barracuda nuclear attack submarine was also handed to the DRDO chief which has been offered to Indian Navy, along with transfer of non-nuclear technology like pump jet propulsion system. Lockheed Martin has delivered two more MH-60R anti-submarine helicopters to the Indian Navy at Southern Naval Command Kochi, taking the fleet strength to five helicopters. The MH-60R is armed with AGM-114 Hellfire missiles Mark 54 torpedoes and advanced precision weapons, and the Indian Navy will receive 24 helicopters by 2025. The Department of Defense Production organized a briefing and interaction meeting with Thailand delegation led by Deputy Chief of Royal Thai Air Force. The Indian Defence Industries presented their state-of-the-art defence capabilities to Thailand delegation, and both sides expressed their commitment to explore avenues for joint research technology transfer and strategic partnerships.